Today we have a 1964 Gibson 335 with Bigsby and custom made plate. Uh, this instrument is in pretty nice shape. Uh, it does have a little bit of weather checking. It does have uh, a little bit of wear on the neck. There are some spots caused by rings and jewelry and, and such. Uh, not a lot of belt buckle, a little bit of button worming on the back of this one. Uh, it does appear to be pretty well stocked. Um, these, of course, would be the your uh, typical 64 variety Gibson humbuckings, and uh, not certainly not PAFs, but really smooth. The guitar's got an extremely low action, easy to play. On the neck pickup, it's smooth and warm like you'd expect. On the bridge. Combination of the pickups. The guitar is real uh, smooth when overdriven. It's kind of a pretty nice rock machine. Bridge pickup, nice and biting. Same thing with the bridge pickup, real nice, you know. So, just a very nice uh, example of a 335 Bigsby. Reasonably, really nice. Stays in tune reasonably well, even with the use of the Bigsby. And you can take the custom made plaque and, under, and put yeah, a stop tail yes, on. Underneath the stop, underneath this, there are usually found the studs for a stop tail piece, usually already grounded and waiting for you. So, uh, just pop it off and you've got a stop guitar. 1964, 335.